The purpose of these robots is to cause harm and take lives. They are equipped with weapons such as machine guns and grenade launchers and have a high level of accuracy when targeting their victims. Some of these robots have a large and imposing appearance, while others are small but still very deadly. Let's examine these dangerous machines more closely. Welcome to future territory. Armed robots have become a reality and are no longer just a fictional concept depicted in movies like The Terminator. In fact, the first armed robots were deployed in Iraq in 2007, where they were modified versions of bomb disposal bots that were fitted with M249 machine guns. Over the past 15 years, companies such as Kinetic and General Robotics have made significant advancements in this technology, resulting in smarter and deadlier robots. One such robot is the Modular Advanced Arm Robotic System, developed by Kinetic. This unmanned ground vehicle resembles a small, powerful, and combat-ready tank. It is designed to keep soldiers at a safe distance from enemy fire by detecting threats from several kilometers away. Mars is used in a variety of situations, including booby-trapped areas, ambushes, hostage or soldier rescue, and forced entry. Mars is also equipped with safety features and only takes action when it receives coded instructions from its operator. It is fitted with a day camera and a night thermal camera, and when it comes to using force, it can employ non-lethal laser dazzlers, audio deterrence, or less than lethal grenades. Alternatively, it can deploy lethal force by firing its grenade launcher, machine gun, or even starting fires. Kinetic has a range of armed robots in its fleet, including the Talon family of medium-sized tactical robots. These can be used for various tasks, such as planting or disposing of improvised explosive devices, as well as for defense and rescue missions. They have already been deployed in conflict zones like Iraq and Afghanistan, and have even been used in the search for the Boston Marathon bombing suspect. One of Kinetic's latest models is the Sea Talon, which is extremely rugged and can operate in turbulent waters or on land. It has features like pressure sensors, GPS navigation, and night vision, making it suitable for security surveillance and mine hunting operations. General Robotics is another developer of light and smart robots. Pitbull Remote Controlled Weapon Station is one of their products. It has enhanced artificial intelligence that improves its situational awareness and response rate. Using a target prediction algorithm, it can continuously and autonomously detect and track the predicted positions of threats and friendly forces. It's lightweight, but it can mount 7.62mm guns and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. And once it's given the command to shoot, it's known to take a perfect shot, but you don't have to be as large as the pit bull to be deadly. Meet Doggo. It's small, weighs 10 kilograms, and can fit in a rucksack, but don't be fooled by its size. This tactical combat robot can climb stairs, has eight color video cameras, and is armed with a 9mm Glock pistol. Doggo acts as a watchdog for soldiers in the field and can eliminate threats without any collateral damage. And besides its anti-terror and close combat applications, its two-way audio feature can be used for negotiations for hostage rescue as well. Ghost Robotics is also involved in the development of military robots, specifically dog-like robots. One of their products is the Vision 60, a mid-sized QUGV that weighs 51 kilograms and can run at a top speed of 3 meters per second. It has high endurance and can operate in all weather and ground conditions. Recently, Ghost Robotics collaborated with Sword International to create a semi-autonomous robotic dog called Spur, or a Special Purpose Unmanned Rifle System. This robot is designed to carry a 6.5mm Creedmoor rifle from Sword International on its back. Although Spur has not yet been used in combat, it looks like a crazy sniper dog and could potentially provide significant protection. Quinetic Robotics is not the only company creating armed robots for military purposes. There are other competitors in the market offering bots in various shapes and sizes. General Dynamics, for example, has developed Mutt, a semi-autonomous robot that can be driven anywhere and can be equipped with weapons, such as M240B and M2 machine guns, as well as automatic grenade launchers. Not only the military, but also law enforcement agencies have introduced armed robots to their teams. While initially used for bomb disposal, 
The Dallas Police Department famously used a robot to deliver an explosive device to a shooting suspect in a garage. According to federal law enforcement sources, this was likely the first time that U.S. law enforcement had employed this tactic, which is typically used by SWAT teams to breach or open a door. More recently, the San Francisco Police Department has decided to use potentially lethal robots in extreme situations, although they have stated that these robots will only be used under strict supervision. Nonetheless, the deployment of such robots has generated significant controversy. Yes, these concerns are certainly valid. The use of armed robots raises ethical, legal, and security questions. The possibility of malfunctioning, hacking, or being taken over by unauthorized individuals is always a risk with any advanced technology. Moreover, the use of armed robots raises questions about accountability and responsibility. If a robot causes harm, who is responsible? The manufacturer, the operator, or the robot itself? These are important questions that need to be addressed as the development and deployment of armed robots continues. Like Elon Musk said, artificial intelligence is far more dangerous than nuclear weapons. We believe that if machines are given the ability to choose to harm or kill humans, it could have a catastrophic consequences and also devastating impact on our security and freedom. What are your thoughts on killer robots? Tell us about them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Future Territory.